Hey Google. Good morning. Good afternoon. It is 1.38 p.m. Right now in New York City it's 74 with showers. Today, there will be scattered thunderstorms with a forecasted high of 78 and a low of 71. Here's the latest news. From Reuters TV, here are the top stories. Musk defends his controversial Tesla bioplane. As the lira falls, Turkey's Erdogan digs in. Tesla CEO Elon Musk trying to clarify his plan about the future of the electric car maker hey, as a publicly traded... Pause. Hey Google, how do you make perfect scrambled eggs? Okay, here are some recipes. Hey Google, select best soft and creamy scrambled eggs. Here you go, let me know when you want to start cooking. Hey Google, start cooking. There are three ingredients. You can ask for the next ingredient or skip to the instructions. The first ingredient is one half tablespoon butter. Hey Google, skip instructions. There's seven steps, I'll read them one by one. When you're ready to hear more, you can say, next step. First step, melt the butter in a medium non-stick pan over medium low heat. Hey Google, next step. Second step, crack eggs into a bowl, add a pinch of salt and whisk until well blended. Hey Google, next step. When the butter begins to bubble, pour in the eggs and immediately use a silicone spatula to swirl in small circles around the pan, without stopping, until the eggs look slightly thickened and very small curds begin to form, about 30 seconds. Hey Google, next step. Change from making circles to making long sweeps across the pan until you see larger, creamy curds, about 20 seconds. Hey Google, next step. When the eggs are softly set and slightly runny in places, remove the pan from the heat and leave for a few seconds to finish cooking. Hey Google, next step. Give a final stir and serve immediately. Hey Google, turn off the room lights. Okay, turning seven lights off. Hey Google, play music on Spotify. Playing some music on Spotify. So that is the Lenovo Smart Display. Uh, it's a great uh, piece in the Google Home ecosystem that I think will fit for a lot of people. Um, I use Google Home a lot, and for me, this actually fits well in my kitchen. So uh, I do a lot of cooking. I like to, I walk around between the kitchen and my living room. I live in an apartment, so uh, it makes a lot of sense for me. And I think it would make a lot of sense for a lot of people. Eight inch display is, is big enough for you to see things that you want to see, whether it's news, whether it's directions, whether it's uh, cooking recipes in this case, that kind of stuff. It's also a touch screen, so you can actually navigate as well, moving things like uh, doing some manual controls uh, to say your lighting or things like that. So even after you do a voice prompt, you can still go back and manually change it. I think uh, as Google's uh, routines improve and expand, I think we'll see more from that. I would like to see them expanded more to more applications. So for instance, you can make video calls, but you have to use Duo. And honestly, like Daniel says, who used Duo? Like no one. So uh, I would like to at least make calls with say something like Facebook or WhatsApp or even Hangouts, you know, stuff that people use in general. Uh, but I, I like it. I like its functionality. I think it works well. Um, I, I think it's a solid product. I'd like to see more from it. And uh, I'm going to continue my day now that it is afternoon. So hopefully you guys like this video. Uh, definitely subscribe to the channel. And if you do, please hit the notification icon to get notified of our latest videos. Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.